is Rebecca from Innovate TV. I'm here with Chico, Country Director of Shore India and South Asia, and Raj from Sun Infonet. So, Chico and Raj, Shore has recently established an office in India. What was the objective behind this, and how would it better serve the AV market in India? So, perhaps I take that question. Uh, so, Rebecca, we have been involved with India for quite some time now uh, from the Dubai office and uh, after two years of working closely together with Sun Infonet and developing the, the market uh, we decided that having an office here would allow us to have more focus in the country uh, continue to uh, educate the market with our Shore Audio Institute program uh, continue to work together with the Sun Infonet team with regards to uh, demonstrations, uh, proof of concepts uh, getting to know the customer better and understanding what the needs are. So the whole point of uh, uh, me moving to India and setting up a base here is to, to focus on the country. Of course with distribu distribution partners like Sun Infonet, what can the customer expect in terms of services and support moving forward? See Sun Infonet uh, has been distributor for sure for last 18 years, 18 plus years and uh, our objective has always been to uh, you know, support the customers, uh, value uh, the money that they spend. And uh, in the current scenario, the very important thing that was required and that is required is consistent uh, support response from the principal. Uh, and that could be in terms of demos, the POCs, as Chiku says. And uh, with Chiku and Show being in India now, I think so the response can be much faster. And uh, as I always say, you know, we create more requirements to support those requirements. So uh, with Chiku and team, we are going to create more requirement. And uh, with Sun Infinite as a distributor for so long, we are going to support that requirement. End users have been striving uh, to make meetings easy and seamless. Is this true for the India market? And how is Shore uh, products uh, help end users to achieve their goals? So I, we believe that you know uh, India market definitely has uh, similar requirements to the customers we have abroad in uh, other major markets. Uh, there's a lot of multinational companies here in India, so uh, many global companies follow global standards. So we do see similar requirements for our meeting room technologies, uh, such as our MXA 910, our ceiling array microphone. Uh, but we also intend to uh, better understand the, the local customer, the, the, the multinational, the, the local companies that are uh, in India, based out of India, but are growing uh, abroad and becoming multinationals themselves. Uh, so we see that requirement uh, both from both ends as well. Uh, we have the global customers who are all over India now, you know, the economy is changing, people coming in, opening offices in India, and uh, they want to carry forward what they have been buying and what they have been using in, uh, in their parent companies. So. We continue to do the same thing, uh, plus create uh, more market uh, from the local companies, the multinationals, uh, you know, the which are present in India, and that's only possible when we go meet them, educate them. And that's one mantra which we believe, uh, which of course we have been doing for quite some time now. It's like education, and that's the best way of selling. So if the customer is educated, he's going to take the right decision, and that's what we believe in. And is there any um, uh, future developments uh, in the Indian AV market that you see? years to come? Well, I think that uh, th there's a lot of potential in this market from many aspects. Not only is there a demand for our, our solutions, uh, but AV as an industry is, is growing rapidly. There's a lot of people who traditionally have been wanting to uh, be involved uh, in the medicine industry, you know, doctors uh, or uh, the finance industry as accountants. But I think that there are a lot of people who you know, are finishing from their universities or uh, their higher education and they are actually considering uh, not only IT as an option but AV. Um, Avixa, for example, are doing a lot to uh, improve the knowledge and the education of AV here in India. There's a lot of CTS certified people here now uh, and even some of them having more than one CTS certification. So I think that overall helps the industry and you know the distributor and the manufacturer to uh, educate, to find top talent, uh, for the multinationals to hire the right people. Uh, so I think it's an, a, a, an environment that's changing uh, drastically in this country, which is great for everybody.
people are penetrating people are taking the right decisions as i says and uh, once we educate them we tell where to position our products uh, and that's only possible through right education so uh, you know we are addressing the market requirements and uh, uh, fortunately and uh, sure is considering uh, india as one of the biggest markets for them and developing the products for the market you know which is very very important and uh, that's one positive thing that i see over last few years as for as a distributor you know so we get products what the indian market desires nice. and finally are you going to share more about the training that you're offering for india right now i see you're promoting in uh, infocom media today uh, right. are you able to share uh, just a bit more about that Yeah. So together with Sun over the last uh, I would say 2 years, uh we've had a training almost every month in different cities from uh, Mumbai, Delhi, uh Pune, Hyderabad, Bangalore and, and Chennai and the list goes on and on. And the whole idea is to as as Neeraj said, educate the market, you know, uh make them understand what's available, what's possible. Um and uh just like we did at Infocom in Las Vegas, we are introducing our new IS certification program uh, which we will kick off at the end of this month uh, it'll be both online and instructor led training so we're really looking forward to having people register and uh, be part of this new training program thank you very much chief thank you thank you so much